Hi there. So this is my website. And can you see this WhatsApp icon? If my visitor clicks here, then they'll see this message. And clicking here takes them to my WhatsApp business account, where I can send them a first message like this to choose from. And they can just type a number. And then I'll get a message like this. Then I can quickly reply and help them with whatever they need. I can also set up automatic messages like this with a special discount to increase my sales. Basically, in this video, I'll show you how to add WhatsApp chat to your website and set up WhatsApp business to get these types of cool features to boost your sales. Okay, so the first step is to set up a WhatsApp business account. So let's go to the App Store or Google Play Store. And in the search bar, type WhatsApp business. Then click on this app. Tap install and wait for the app to download and install on your phone. Once installed, let's go here and open the app. Then you'll be greeted with some business terms and conditions. So just tap agree and continue. Then let's select our phone number. This can be the same number you use for personal WhatsApp or a different one allocated to your business. Then WhatsApp will send a verification code to this number like this. So let's enter the code and verify our account. So let's start by entering your business name. Choose carefully as this is how your customers are going to see you. Uh, then let's select a category that best describes your business. Click next. Awesome. Now you've successfully created a WhatsApp business account and we'll be using this same account on your website. Now let's add a greeting message every time a person messages you for the first time, which looks something like this. So let's open WhatsApp business on our phone. Now click on greeting message and enable send greeting message. Below that, click on the greeting message to edit the default message. So let me type in a welcome message like this. Now, if you want to send replies based on the message that the user sent, go back to the quick reply section. And here you can add a keyword. Now let's open the business account. Now let's send a quick reply keyword that we entered. And we can see that the automatic message is sent back. All right, now let's work on adding WhatsApp to your website. So the first step is to check whether our website is too slow and has a score less than 90 on Google PageSpeed. Otherwise, our site just isn't going to load properly and people can't use the WhatsApp option. So most people don't realize how slow their site is. So let's first add your website URL to Google PageSpeed like this. And if you get a score less than 90, then your site is already too slow and we need to fix this before we do anything else. Now there's many speed plugins in the market, but they're either paid or have hundreds of settings. So my team made our own speed plugin called Airlift, which is completely free. And you can just add your site and with one click, it does everything needed to make your site up to three times faster and get a 90 plus score like this. There's no hidden conditions here. It's free and you can keep it activated as long as you want. So click the link in description and you can use it first. Then move on to the next step. Now let's go to the WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, then select add new. And in the search bar, type join chat. This plugin is quite popular and trusted. Uh, so let's install it and activate it. Now that it's activated, let's set it up. Here under general, enter the WhatsApp business number that we used earlier. Test the number to ensure it's properly linked. Mm, yeah, it's working. Uh, now here you'll find options to customize the chat interface. Add a predefined message in the message section. This message is what users will initially see. So make it uh, welcoming and informative like this. Now choose an icon for your chat button. You can select a default image or upload a custom one. Now further down, you'll find options to customize the tooltip text, which appears next to the chat icon. This text should be a short inviting message like need help or chat with us now. Now adjust the position of the chat icon on your site. Set a button delay to control when the chat icon appears after a page is loaded. So I'll choose this. Now save the changes. Now let's open our site in a new tab. and Let's wait a little bit. And we can see that the button appears after three seconds because we had set that delay earlier. Now when I click on it, it takes me to a WhatsApp chat. So let's go back to the settings, scroll down to the chat window section. Here you can add a call to action message like this if you want a chat window to open on clicking the icon. So let's customize the button, something like uh, let's chat and choose a theme color that matches our website. Uh, now we've enabled the call to action and we can show the message automatically after a delay to grab the user's attention. So in the show automatically section, select a time after which the window should open. I'll select this and set the page used to this to show the window from the first view. 
Now let's save the changes and go to our site. Now you can see that a chat window pops up with a message. Let's go back to settings. Under the visibility tab, you can choose where on your site the WhatsApp button should appear. So you can opt for global visibility or customize it for specific pages or posts. So this flexibility allows you to target the chat feature where it's most needed and would help your customers the most. I want it on all the pages, so I'll choose global. Now save the changes. This plugin can also help us to enhance your e-commerce site with custom messages for product pages, uh, like this. So let's navigate to our joint chat settings. Click on the WooCommerce tab. And in the call to action for products field, let's craft a message that appears specifically on product pages. But here's the exciting part. You can also use dynamic variables to tailor this message for each product. These variables pull in details like the product name, its price, and available stock units, making each message unique and relevant. So let's create a custom sales message. And notice the variables for both the regular price and the sale price. Let's add a message here too. Now let's go to our website, open the product, and we can see the unique message in the chat window for this product. Now let's open a product which is on sale, and we'll see a different message here. Also, in this three minute video, I'll show you our new free plugin, which helps triple your site speed for free. So check it out.